Hello, I'm Jim Hendricks, and today I want to talk to you about what drinking alcohol does to your brain. You'd think that it was okay as long as you did it in moderation, and that's probably true. But I have some images of people who have been drinking for not so long and maybe not so much that might change your mind. According to Dr. Amen of the Amen Clinics, alcohol is not a health food. He recommends no more than two normal sized drinks a week. Uh, other psychiatrists will say that maybe one or two normal sized drinks a day is acceptable. But here's a picture of someone whose brain is normal and normal is subjective. There aren't a lot of normal brains because of all of the things that we do to ourselves that cause damage to our brains. But here's the normal brain. And here is an alcohol-affected brain. You can see the scalloping and the overall degradation in blood flow and activity which is what this kind of image is showing. It's called a spect image. And here are the two, two brains side by side for your, for your comparison. Note how much different the, the alcohol affected brain is. When it comes to brain size and smoothness and um, function, when it comes to blood flow and activity, all of those things are critical to your, your brain's function, which really controls everything that you do and everything that you are. So I suggest that you limit your consumption of alcohol to no more than a few normal sized drinks a week. And don't kid yourself. If you think you're, uh, that your giant glasses of uh, margaritas or your um, brutish sized beers are uh, just one drink. Guess again, those are really a lot of alcohol. So thank you for listening. I've probably made, an, made a lot of enemies today, but I'm just trying to help. Take care. Have a great day.